Hi, I'm Buzz Powell. I'm an assistant director at the National Center for Asphalt Technology at Auburn University. We do work for state DOTs, for FHWA, and for private contractors. And we really stand in the gap between industry and agencies, and, and everyone counts on us to provide them with objective information on uh, making payments last longer, improving the, the value of flexible payments. Asphalt pavements are, are one of the most sustainable products in the world, if not the most sustainable product in the world, because it's 100% recyclable. Our challenge is to, to promote sustainability and improve sustainability you know, by using more and more reclaimed and recycled materials, but, but doing it in a way that actually adds value and performance value and doesn't subtract from performance value. So you know, we, we want to be as, as sustainable as we possibly can, but we have to do that in a way that, that does not compromise performance and ideally actually improves performance. So that's a big part of our mission at NCAT. NCAT is involved in this project not with any contract authority, but just to provide technical support to the, uh, for, for both plant production and for paving. Hi, I'm Jacob Walker. I'm the Assistant Bituminous Technical Services Manager with the Georgia Department of Transportation. So asphalt pavement in Georgia is, is the primary pavement uh, in, in the state of Georgia, much more than concrete. At the Office of Materials and Testing, we have uh, the bituminous branch. So we have three different units. We have our bituminous control unit, which tests and monitors the liquid uh, part in emulsion. And we also have our asphalt mix design lab, which uh, will test the, the mixes. And we have our technical services unit, which is what I'm part of. And our unit uh, monitors um, in the field the plants and the roadway to ensure the quality of the mix actually being produced and put down, and also troubleshooting any, any problems that come up. Hi, I'm Andrew Brooks, Division Manager of Quality Control and Asphalt Sales at CW Matthews. We've got 25 asphalt plants, two asphalt terminals, um, ranging pretty much from a line from Columbus to Macon, Georgia, up to about the North Carolina, Tennessee line, um, spread throughout that. So heavily in the Atlanta metro area, um, broken down into uh, three different plant divisions and four different quality control divisions, trying to make sure we can keep everything taken care of. We want to make sure we're putting a, a quality product out there that we have the faith and credit with Georgia Department of Transportation as a partner on it. I, I don't want to just say put it in there and, and not give a quality product out there. Again, not only am I responsible for the technical, I'm responsible for outside sales too. And so I'm not going to give my customer something that I wouldn't give our, our largest customer being Georgia Department of Transportation. And so we're really looking at ways to be able to use RAP but do so responsibly. They know down at NCAT, just because we are so close to NCAT, that we do have a problem up in Atlanta with too much rap. Um, we use NCAT for a good many of our training opportunities. As such, you know, we, we have side conversations of how can we help each other out. We're cautionary moving forward because, you know, we are worried that there may be a cracking problem coming around, so we're looking for solutions. Collaborative Aggregates appreciates the Georgia DOT and C.W. Matthews working with our Delta S Asphalt Rejuvenator Chemistry on a paving project in Metro Atlanta. The involvement of NCAT is a big plus for us all. Since C.W. Matthews does not have an inline blending system at their Forest Park Asphalt Mix Plant, we dosed Delta S into the transport tanker. We then pumped the dosed PG64-22 liquid asphalt into a plant storage tank. Our goal is about two and a half pounds of Delta S in every finished asphalt mix ton containing 50% wrap content for this specific paving job. Following the asphalt mix production with storage in silos, contract haulers delivered the mix to the work site for the CW Matthews paving crew. The mix reached the paver at between 290 and 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The CW Matthews crew paved at one and a half inches thick. A 15-ton steel roller and vibratory mode provided the initial compaction breakdown. A rubber tire roller was on the secondary compaction and a 10-ton steel roller in static mode provided for finished compaction. All of the 50% wrap content asphalt mix production and paving was accomplished during a night shift with no reports of operational or quality control issues. 
NCAT is assisting both Georgia DOT and CW Matthews with extensive rutting and cracking testing of plant production mix samples as part of the field demonstration project utilizing Delta S technology for asphalt rejuvenation of the recycled wrap binder. You know, Georgia in general is, is an innovative state as, as far as what it comes to doing, doing things. Uh, we're, we're willing to try things. The maximum we generally allow on that wrap mixes is 40%. Uh, for our conventional mixes, so 50 percent, you know, we we want to see how it performs. You know, uh, our our concerns would would be, uh, you know, premature cracking, and then also the the contractor's ability to uh, control the AC and gradation on, on the mix itself. So on this project, uh, NCAT got involved to to do performance optimization of the of the G dot approved mix, and and so. The mix, we did we did rut testing and we did uh, cracking assessment testing in the laboratory, with with what I would call the the control mix, the standard G dot approved mix, and then and then we also did some testing with, I, I think with two different levels of treatments with with the control mix with some additional additional asphalt binder in it, and with the control mix that was performance optimized with with the uh, the Delta S rejuvenator product.